This topic is about developing a mental model of a computer system in terms of its key components. Now first thing we're going to learn to do is to define a computer system. And the way we do this is simply by looking at a computer system in its simplest form. And that is in terms of hardware and software. By hardware we simply mean any physical component that you can touch that makes up the physical aspect of the computer. And then there is software which is any program that the computer runs on. Also we need to extend our understanding of a computer to not just our desktop PCs or our laptops or even our tablets, but rather think about all the places that you'd see a computer chip, for example in a microwave, a mobile phone, cash machines, anywhere where we find these computer chips we can consider that applied to a computer in itself. Now we've got a basic diagram here and this shows us the four components of a computer system. And this is this sorry this includes the inputs, the CPU, the outputs and the storage. Now all first of all let's take a look at the input device. Now all computers must have an input device. These get data from the real world now this input device could be a mouse, it could be a keyboard on a PC, also temperature sensors, microphones, all input devices. Now they take uh, real world data and convert them into a form that can be stored on the computer. The input from these devices is processed and the computer system will generate the output. So the output device could be a conventional computer screen or it could be a motor that opens up a greenhouse window or even a speaker that produces sound on a phone. to use store data to perform the processing and as a result of this the processing input may generate data that is in itself stored so any computer system would have all four of these basic components 